Are you looking for a quick and nutritious pasta dish? Stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking with Chef Rich. Today we're going to be making a very healthy version of a pasta primavera. Very easy dish to make and rather quick. I'm going to start by sauteing off some onions. I have some chopped onions over here. We're going to saute those off until they're translucent. And that's going to take probably about five minutes. I'm going to add literally just a, maybe a couple teaspoons of olive oil to my pan and I will show you what they look like in a few minutes. Our onions have been sauteing for right about five minutes and at this point we're going to add our garlic. And if you look at the pan, the pan is perfectly dry in bottom. Um, we're going to talk about that in a couple seconds. We're going to add just like another teaspoon of olive oil to our garlic so that actually sautés. And I'm also going to put our eggplant around. So a lot of people are, are on what they call a low carb diet. And I do have some videos coming up about dieting. One of my beliefs about dieting is diets really don't work. Most people that lose weight put it back on within two years and that is the statistic is 90% accurate that 90% of everyone puts the weight back on. Um, my way of looking at things, instead of like trying to eliminate carbs, which is really hard on a person, why don't you just try to eliminate the fat, which is what gives you the extra calories, which is actually what puts the weight on you. So if you notice, I kind of go with low fat. At this point, I'm gonna give this a stir. By eliminating the fat, you actually save the calories that, uh, the extra calories that put fat on you. We're gonna saute this just for a few more seconds and then I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it. And I'll explain to you why when we do the water. Point, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to my water for my pasta. And I'm gonna be cooking off about a half a pound of pasta approximately. And you do wanna give that a stir as soon as you put that in and continually to stir every now and then between now and the time it's cooked. And at this point, we're gonna go back to our eggplant. Now I said that I'm going to be adding some water to this. You notice that the bottom of my pan is getting brown. I'm going to add some water and that's going to do two things. Uh, you can use wine if you want to, but water works just as well. This is going to A, help cook the eggplant. Um, you can't saute an onion in water, it doesn't work. But you can steam vegetables in water and it works fine. So once your onions and garlic have been sauteed, at this point you don't need any added oil. You can just use water as a cooking medium and that does work more than fine. So we're gonna cook this for a few minutes and we'll add on our next set of vegetables in two minutes. The next thing we're gonna do, you notice that all the water has been absorbed. We're gonna add our zucchini at this point and our peppers. We have red and yellow peppers, both large diced. So you stir this in. Neither peppers nor zucchini will give off a lot of water, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water to my pan just to help steam it along. And we're gonna cook this out for another few minutes. Once the zucchini is just a little bit tender, uh, we're gonna add our asparagus. The zucchini doesn't have to be totally cooked for the reason that we're, it's gonna to continue to cook for another few more minutes, but as long as it's a little bit tender. So we're gonna add our asparagus. And every now and then when you see that this is totally dry, you can always add a little bit more water so it just kind of steams the vegetables. We're using pencil asparagus, which is very, very thin asparagus, so it cooks rather quickly. After this has been cooking for about a minute, minute and a half, we're gonna add some tomatoes and let this cook for about another minute, minute and a half. So our asparagus is almost tender. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some chopped basil. We're gonna add just a tablespoon of uh, lemon juice. We're gonna add some salt and pepper. We're gonna add our cooked pasta. It's nice and al dente. And the very, very last thing is, our, is some Parmesan cheese. We're gonna give it a really good mix. So 
smell the Parmesan, it smells great. And I'm gonna put this in a bowl and I will show you what it looks like. I put our pasta on a plate and I wanted to show you what it looks like. I actually tried it already. It's actually really delicious. Really, really, really good. Taste the garlic. Um, I don't know if you noticed, I put a lot of garlic in there. Uh, it has the sauteed onions. And then all the fresh vegetables and the Parmesan just gives us this plenty of flavor. It's just a really nice pasta dish. Believe it or not, this has a lot less calories than other pasta dishes because you don't have all the added fat. Very often with, when you add a lot of fat to the dish, that's what actually boosts up the calories and that's why you gain weight. Um, this, okay, it has some pasta in it, but actually is packed with vegetables. Other things you can do, you can actually saute off some chicken or some tofu or add some garbanzo beans if you want some protein in there and that actually will just pick it up a little bit. Once again, just don't use a lot of oil. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear what type of pastas you like to make. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Be safe, everyone.